guys, my name is Sam and welcome to Prep Medic. For those of you that don't know, outside of YouTube, my full-time job is as a critical care flight paramedic. So for this week's video, I thought it would be a cool idea to do a day in the life video where I bring you guys along for a full 24 hour shift, show you everything that's involved with the job. Obviously we have to start with the morning routine. So it's about 3.30 AM. I've already had a cup of coffee and we're about to go work out. My workouts always consist of some strength training and then an endurance component. I've got a bike and a treadmill that I use relatively regularly. So these workouts were programmed for me by Tactical Human, which is a fitness service essentially that takes into account the demands of being a first responder in the military, anything like that. And they've kind of ta tailored this program for me. So I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I've just found that having applicable workouts really makes a difference instead of going through a program that's you know, trying to turn you into a bodybuilder or extreme endurance athlete. I just need things that will allow me to do my job for a long period of time. Workout's finally done and thankfully, even though I've been filming all morning, I still have time for a coffee and a quick shower before I have to leave for work. Let's hit the road. So today's shift, we are going in for a 24 hour shift. I work two days a week. I work Thursdays and Saturdays. Thursdays I'm on a ground critical care truck and then on Saturdays I'm on a helicopter. So I really like that schedule. It's not for everyone just because you know, you can be up all night. Sometimes we don't do anything, but uh, more often than not, you're kind of running on lack of sleep. It also gives me a lot of free time during the week to watch my kid, um, get things done, produce these videos, things like that. So, you know, I really enjoy it. one has you loud and clear. Today you have Eric as your pilot, Sam as your medic, and Alyssa as your nurse. All right, well good morning guys. So today's looking good for flying. We can go north, east, and south right now. Mountains to the west are getting snow. Uh, we do have a SIGMET for turbulence, so just plan on it being bumpy once we get a, you know, a few hundred feet above the ground. So yeah, just double check your NVGs, make sure they're good to go, make sure nothing's broken on them and things like that. Uh, I am safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. So that right there is our helicopter. It is an A-Star, has about 1,000 horsepower, uh, top speeds around 160 miles per hour. We use it because one, it's cheap to operate and also it is really good at high altitude. So I don't know if you can see it with this lens, but the Rocky Mountains are right there and we fly up into them all the time. So one of our first responsibilities in the morning is to go through every single bag uh, and compartment on the helicopter, test all of the machinery and equipment there just to make sure it works and it's ready to go for the day. So we are a critical care medical helicopter. We fly with a pilot. 
a medic and a nurse, obviously. And then we run both 911 calls, so we call them scene flights, and IFTs, inter-facility transfers, if somebody has to go from one place to another, but has a lot of advanced things being done to them, like they have an impella, a balloon pump, um, they require a lot of drips or they're intubated and need a ventilator. That's generally when we'll take them instead of a uh, advanced life support ground ambulance. Now that we have the helicopter checks done, the pilot's given his daily brief, we have to come on and QA the previous shift's calls. So any flights they ran, we go through and make sure there were no clinical errors. It's a good learning experience for them and then it helps keep our care uh, up to par. We also have a lot of continuing education we have to do. So we have monthly continuing education and quarterly that's done on the computer and in person. So try to knock some of that out in the next couple hours. Is there no EMS on, fire, on scene yet? Not yet. No, they just got dispatched to it. All right, so we just got dispatched to a scene call. Our goal lift time is under 10 minutes. We can usually beat that pretty well. Um, but we'll be flying up into the mountains. It's a little bit cloudy, but nothing to worry about. Go Tower, lifeline one with Juliet. Request the present position departure northwest. Lifeline one, one under departure, turn around. Right. Caution northwest is approved. Uh, wind 110 at 26. At my risk. And thanks for the wind, lifeline one. Lifeline one, be advised to have one person up here. Okay. To, uh, and lifeline one, Roger, landing in possible V turn risk. Uh, wind one zero at one. So we were canceled by first responders before we even got there. Uh, it turned out they didn't need a helicopter. Sometimes the dispatch information is a little bit different than what actually is going on. Here we can see what kind of educational stuff the nurse is doing. Oh wait. She's Where just on TikTok. TikTok. Come on, man. <laughs> Eric, what advice do you have to everybody if you want to be a pilot? You still have to do paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it unless you absolutely love aviation and you absolutely dream of being a pilot. Otherwise, it's going to be painful. Roger, will be three souls on board and around to be off the ground here in about a minute will be 18 minutes time and route. Um, HOE is 5,300, two hours of view. No warning lights, gauges are good. Eyes outside, sterile. You guys got all the things? All the things. All the things. Go tower, uh, you can uh, transition the airspace. Metro altimeter is 3012. And clear right. All right, how big are the snow banks around this thing? Uh, uh, maybe a foot. Tail inside the circle? Yes, tail inside the circle. All right, good start. Check skids, come aboard. All right, skids clear all around, coming on in. Left line one, uh, departure return risk, proceed requested on course, much of October 3013. 3013, lifeline one at my risk. Obviously there's a lot we can't show just because of HIPAA laws. You know, I wish I could show you a little bit more of the critical care medicine we do because that's really what the job is. The helicopter's cool, but 
ultimately it's just a vehicle. Going on the third flight, another in a facility relatively close by. It's getting a little late. That brings us to two patient flights and one canceled. That's pretty typical of this kind of shift. Now it's time to get some charts done and go to bed if we can. Hopefully we can get a little bit of rest tonight. Made it through the night without any more calls. Let's get to shift change. There you have it guys, an entire 24 hour shift with a flight paramedic. I hope it was entertaining or at least a little bit informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I will see you next week.